Hi, this is uh, Christian from the UML for Action Script and Flex team. I'd like to show you a couple of uh, the new features included in uh, the M2 release of our product. There are two videos. This one is the first one and is about uh, diagram related features. Let's start. Simplified new element creation. New elements can be created without changing the current tool. To do this, I click and drag on an empty area uh, from the diagram, I select the element type I want to create and that's it, the element gets created. Please notice that if I intersect some uh, existing elements with my uh, rectangle, it turns blue. Blue means that the tool is in uh, select mode. Why? Green means that the tool is in new element creation mode. Auto enter in edit mode. When uh, new elements are created, they uh, automatically enter in um, editing mode. For um, elements within the tree or diagram compartment elements, there is an additional feature. If I finish editing with uh, control plus enter, a new element of same type is um, created again. We got the same uh, behavior on um, the diagram for attributes, operations, or annotations. There is a global setting that uh, enables or disables this uh, behavior. Pen behavior. I press shift, I click and drag and the diagram is scrolled according to the position of uh, my mouse. Visual styles. Almost every flex uh, visual style can be adjusted for uh, diagram uh, elements. For example, I'm changing the color of uh, this class. There are many styles that you can use to make your diagrams look more interesting. Uh, colors, paddings, font settings, line settings, etc. There is a style inheritance uh, mechanism in place. For example, I want to um, have uh, all the operations colored in um, blue on this diagram. So you see that every operation is now um, blue. I want to override this setting for um, this class. I want to have um, my uh, operations, um, let's say, uh, red. And I want to override it again for this uh, this uh, particular operation. You can see here that um, for every uh, style we have its value, if it's inherited or not, and uh, where the data comes from. For example, for letter spacing, uh, it's a default value. For color, it, it comes from conference elements, so it, uh, the setting has already been overridden. So let me change it to um, this color and here you have the results. Besides the visual styles, there are two uh, new styles that control the visual structure. The first one controls whether to show or not the entire package within the title area of a class or interface. The second one can show or hide uh, parameters for um, operations. This is the end of this first video. The second one will talk about some more general features.